Okay, people. <laughs> Brad and Krista from the Big Family Homestead. Today is another day in the Looney Bin. Why, oh, why You're did we kidding. say we should be homesteaders? So why, 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 why homesteading? We wanted a better life for our family. Can't we just get a better job? <laughs> no, no, it's, no, it's the whole that's package. that's too easy. <laughs> well, and that really is honestly part of today. Today is going to be chaotic. Um, when you see this, you will find out. Should we tell them now or should we tell them tomorrow? We should tell them tomorrow. Tell them tomorrow. You're going to have to wait. There's a big surprise coming up. And that surprise has facilitated us having to do a billion things today. Not just this, not just today, but this week. A billion things this week. <laughs> we got to repair a tractor. We got to rake. Hey, we got to repair a baler. We got to rake hay. Uh -huh. We got to bale hay. Uh -huh. We got to move hay. Yeah. Oh, I which, forgot about that. Yeah, which. Wait I a minute. Know. What are you guys doing? We're stacking bales. Wait a minute. Hold on. Am I? I, I just sent them out there. I just hit I pause think, on the video. I, Claire was standing at the door and. I, I sent them out there to get started um, to stack the hay that was left on the wagon from the last time. Which was probably what, about 100 bales? I think it was what, 70, it 75. Wasn't it wasn't that many. However, they're done. You did it? They're done. Claire. You give hope to a new generation. Come on, well, um, do it with do it with vigor. Come on, <laughs> don't. Yes, good job, Claire and Toldren. They're down there. Good job, guys. Come on, doggy. That was on the wagon, and without being asked, this lovely teenager and her cohorts, the little ones, what were they doing? Well, Grace and Ruth kind of tag teamed it, and Hope, she did the three high. She helped with all of them, but then did the three high because the other kids couldn't, and I was on the wagon dropping them down, and I did the higher ones. Cause well, I gotta say, for those of you out there who are saying, who have farm experience, you're looking at that, and you're going, oh, well, that could be, you know, tighter and better and, and whatever. Yeah, I know that. I'm just so happy that they took it upon themselves and did it. And besides, we're learning, so get over it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know we've been having issues with the sickle bar, but actually the issue has not been the sickle bar this time. It was actually our lift bar on the three point on our four day end. Well, guess what? It just so happens I know a guy. A and guy. I, I know a guy who knows a lot of things and stuff and things. <laughs> and so Prep Center Bob's here and he helped us out and tell us about this bar because I thought it might have been user error. Nope, nope, not at all. It, uh, the, the three point arms on the eight end, apparently, and I didn't catch this either, the ball ends have been broken and rewelded. And then even here, this is broken and rewelded. So it, it should have been replaced. So. Well, vindication. And now we're gonna go replace it. Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, the thing is, is there's an old saying in farming, if nothing broke, it's a good day. Ha, <laughs> yeah. Claire, you look vexed. What vexes thee? I have a cold sore. You have a cold sore? Have you been eating things that are too acidy? Probably all my salsa for breakfast. It is kind of weird, you know salsa that. Salsa for breakfast? She eats salsa for breakfast. I actually think it tastes really good, but you know, it's kind of not traditional, whatever. Well, and it's salty, like the chips are salty, and that's really good. Well, there you go. Colloidal silver for you. With expert advice, we are trying to get this timing working and it is not participating just yet. 
However, one of the things that we do have a reality to deal with is this chute has been a nightmare since we tried it because it's, well, we did what we could do at the time, but it's not exactly right. So for now, I'm gonna pull this slide off of there and uh, we're just gonna drop the bales on the ground and pick them up because there's not that many. It's not like we're dealing with a thousand or more. It's just only a few. Ah, you probably won't have more than 30, 40 bales. Yeah, it's just for bedding anyway. Yeah. But this has still got to get repaired because yep. we've got a second cutting coming. Yes, we do. I'm guessing the timing is off for the knotters, so we have to clear the bale chute, get everything out of there, and then turn it by hand and, and see where the timing marks are. Okay, well, I'll start by pulling this sled and then we'll get the uh, chute clean, the, the, the hay hole. faster <laughs> next time I I was told to spin the wheel I was that's was the only instruction I was given that's all right all right that's looking pretty good I think actually to be fair we found the remnants of Howard we think he was here because there was a coffee mug that was up on the the tractor and I was like I wonder is this Howard's and it was still warm so you must have come when we weren't around so for your part Howard thank you Mama, it looks like you get yet to be queen of the Ford 8N. It's my so let's see if tractor. you can fire it up. She talks nice to me. Let's see how she does with you. That's pretty nice. All right. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe not. Hold on. Go ahead. Well, I did a little test pickup yep. on some of the junk that was left out in the field, and it was loose for one and two, yep. but for three it looked nice and tight. I think it's working good. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll, as you're bailing, I'm gonna walk behind and check the tension of both sides. That way we don't end up with what's referred to as banana bales. I don't want banana bales. No, I'll get it to where it's even and should be good. I think we should get out the drone and have some sweet drone footage. Well, Maybe some sweet, epic music. Your sweet wife is raking, I would do it. Oh, heck yeah, man. <laughs> so, we figured since it's an epic day with an epic baler, prep sitter Bob on hand, mama's making some raking, I figured it was only appropriate to launch our drone off of the top of the, the uh, baler here, the most stable baler in this general exact vicinity. So here we go, let's see if it'll work. Stay put. Don't, don't be afraid. Oh, we gotta go like this. Here we go. Ready? 